Hi, I'm Zachary Camper, and this is waving at repetitive, repetitive, repetitive music. Over quarantine, I've been bored, and I found this Android app that has a bunch of mini games, one of which lets you compose music. And it, it works, but I want a little bit more functionality than it offers. It's not very flexible. So I thought, what if I made this, what, and what programs could I make this in that are really flexible, are really customizable? Emacs. So I looked into it, and Emacs can play sounds, right? If you hit Control G a couple times, you'll hear like an error tone. And it turns out that that is actually playing a WAV file. But what's a WAV file? Well, it turns out that WAV is a musical file format or really an annoying file format. So data in it can be an unsigned integer or a signed integer. It's not consistent. And it's little ending by default, which is not the way I like to think about it. Now you can set a WAV file to be big endian, but if you do that, Emacs can't play it. So little endian it is. There's also duplicate data fields. Uh, here are some fields that are fine, but then there's a fourth field that's calculated based on multiplying two of the other ones together. And then there's another data field that's you multiply those three ones together. So it's just repetitive and unnecessary, but you have to do it or it's not a valid WAV file. Also, the last part of the file is described as data, or as one website I found said, the actual sound data. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see that, I think, what is data? And it turns out that sound is just a wave and the data is just a bunch of measurements of the height of that waveform in each sample. So this wave starts at eight, goes nine, 11, 13, 14, 15, and then back down. And if you just take those measurements, those numbers, put them in a file, that's all your data is. All right, let's go to a demo of my program. So this is what Z Music looks like. The blue highlighted row is a single beat. There's 16 of them in this Z Music file. And each dash in the row is a single note, increasing, starting really low all the way on the left and going up as we go to the right. So if we started playing, we won't hear anything, but we'll see the highlighted beat is the currently playing one. And we see that it loops. So we can stop it. And now we can click to add some notes. Even more than one note at the same time works. And we can even add notes while it's playing. Okay, here are some other features that I didn't have time to demo. So you can save the music to a file. Uh, and this is interesting because normally, if there's no note in a beat, we just don't play that beat. But if you're writing to a file, you have to put something in so when it's playing, it knows to not make a sound there. Uh, you can also use different scales. Uh, we were using the minor pentatonic in the demo, but you can use the major scale, the minor scale, or anything else. And there's also keyboard support, but it sounds really bad, and I'll explain why later. Here are some things I learned while writing Z Music. Emacs has buttons, which are great, as long as you don't put two of them right next to each other. Because if you do that, mousing over one of them 
highlights both of them. Now that's because a button is really just a series of characters with a text property to highlight them. So the fix is you just put another character between the two buttons. Then mousing over one of them only highlights the one you want. But even this doesn't work really great for ZMusic because ZMusic has a lot of very small buttons in a row. So it's really easy to accidentally put your cursor over the space and click on that instead of the button. So I looked into Unicode and I found this character called a zero width space. So we should be able to put that between buttons and not be able to accidentally click on it. Unfortunately, a zero width space isn't actually zero width. If we put a hundred of them between two other characters, you can see there's space there. And I think what's happening is the space is zero width, but then Emacs put, uses one pixel between each pair of characters for the cursor. So it's almost zero width. Some ways to play sound that don't quite work. Play sound plays music, but it blocks. You can't do things like set other notes or even pause the music. And if you throw it into async.el, it's silent and I don't know why. So the solution I went with is taking that WAV file, writing to the file system, and then shelling out to a native executable to play the sound. And that works fine as long as you only do it once. Because if you do it a couple times at the same time, like if you have a chord and you want to play three notes simultaneously, you get this weird interference. And that's actually why the keyboard from before didn't work. Also, side effects have this unexpected impact. Uh, we, when you saw the demo, it was running pretty smoothly. But if I just add one message statement every beat for debugging purposes, I was getting lag and jitter. Here's the one thing I learned about music theory. Music theory is not easy to program. Uh, I was looking around to see what concepts we can use to, to code the scales, to code the notes. The first thing that I saw is scale degrees. Uh, and this, when I looked into it, you don't want to program in scale degrees. Uh, so you see we have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, but then it wraps around that octave up is also a first. And that's because both of those notes are C. Uh, so that didn't work. And also you couldn't really easily specify a flat or a sharp. Uh, you could say a sharp third uh, or you know, a, a flat seventh or whatever, but then you kind of have these two pieces of data that indicate the note and I didn't, I didn't love that. So I looked, a little, looked again and I found intervals. And then I thought about it and you don't really want to program in intervals either. It fixes some of the problems with scale degrees. You see uh, all the way on the right, you have an octave. So you wrap to eight and you go nine, 10 and that works. But you still have the same problem. You see we have a major third, but below it, we also have a minor third. So you still have that problem of having two pieces of information. Uh, so I thought about it, I mean, music's really frequencies. Like an A is 440 Hertz. So at a low level, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna use frequencies. And then at the one level above that, uh, that's a little bit easier for humans to think about, we're going to use semitones up from the root, which is kind of like scale degrees, but instead of just counting each note as one more, we're gonna say how many semitones up it is. So if there's a sharp between two notes, we're, that's gonna be two steps up instead of just one. And then we translate those to frequencies. So your A is 440 Hertz, another note might be 613.5 or whatever. And we, that's what we use the low level to play. Some future work I have, uh, I wanna add some drums. Uh, I wanna make that keyboard actually work. Uh, and uh, computer synth synthesizers are the only place you hear a pure sine wave like the one we have here. So I wanna add overtones or other octaves above it uh, just to make it sound a little bit more realistic. I've put notes, references, and the source code up at zck.me slash emacsconf2020. I'm one of the organizers of Emacs NYC. Check that out. And uh, if you take a look or have any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. And thanks so much for coming to my talk.